All right, Peter, what you got? I watched an uh, assassin movie from Netflix. Um, I watched Kate. Um, this came out, what, 2021. Uh, one that I've had on the, the in the queue for a while now, uh, you know, um, for Netflix. And I finally just got around to it. And I got to say, I really enjoyed it. Um, it stars uh, Mary uh, Elizabeth Winstead and Woody Harrelson. I love her butt. Uh, well, she does a pretty good job with it on fighting people. And um, she fights people with her butt. Yeah, I mean, it makes things move and stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she she kicks some people with her legs that are attached to her butt. You, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's the assassin. Um, and it, it starts off, she does a kill. You know, things, typical assassin movie, things start going south. And, and now she um uh uh starts she's poisoned uh so she starts getting sick she wakes up in the hospital uh she she tried to hit make a hit it didn't go well because she couldn't focus because she was poisoned and they find out or i guess we find out as the audience that she has had like radiation poisoning and she has like 24 hours to live and so this is kind of like the there's a few other movies out there where, like the assassin is poison. They got to get the cure for whatever, you know, like to make it three days. I think there's a Kevin Cosner movie, like three days to kill or something like that. Um, and this is also the kind of like crank where she has X amount of time. And if like, you know, she slows down almost, she'll like die, but not quite like that. But she always has all this adrenaline. Like she has like the shot she takes from the hospital. And like, that's what keeps her pretty much going throughout this film. And, um, it's her figuring out who who poisoned her and getting revenge on all of it, and it goes down this road and starts turning into like, uh, um, you know how Eastern civilization views Western civilization and 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 stuff like that, and and also kind of about family and gangs. Um, uh, but I, I was I loved it. She is a badass. Like she, the action is a fantastic in this movie. It felt so real. It was very brutal. Um, I kept on thinking about the other one that I watched on Netflix, Gunpowder Milkshake, where like that fighting mm. like was kind of like very stylized and kind of like it was almost like a dance number in my opinion for that. This one though just felt very raw and and it. Um, it, 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 it just it moves so much better because and i don't know if that's just because of mary elizabeth it, and she was just such a better action star compared to uh, uh what's her name jillian um but she pulls it off and it's it's awesome and there's some like just knife fights that are like so, so brutal and it, it made me wince a little bit because i have a fear of getting stabbed so don't bring knives that's around your fear? guys dude i have yeah, I don't like that. That and snakes. Knives, like someone stabbing me and, and getting bit by a snake, they're like two of my biggest fears. So what if they stab you with a snake? Oh, uh, then you just it's the extreme. Like I would I'll shit my pants. I was picturing a snake with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> also, my biggest you know, you know, top both my fears. You combine them. Um Woody Olsen's always great. Uh, he he's like the um, the mentor. He's the one that trained Mary Elizabeth uh, Winstead and and made her the assassin. So, I mean, he's just always fantastic. But it's just kind of weird. This is set like in like China, um, so it's like a Chinese like gang that they're after, um, and. Uh, uh, but it just it follows through. I, I love the story and the, all the arcs and, and how it just played out. And uh, it's on Netflix right now. So I, I highly recommend it. I like it more than Gunpowder Milkshake and a lot of those other assassin movies where they only got X amount of time to live. So hmm. there you go. You know, the other part I want to bring up, too, is that the fact that 
she gets the shit kicked out of her a lot. Like she, she gets shot. She, like all the, you know, there's so many times where like the, the, the action star, the main character, like nothing happens to him. Not that much. She gets the shit kicked out of her. And I love how she just goes through this time frame. You know, like I love how it's because it's just within 24 hours and you just see her progressively get worse and worse and worse. And uh, I, I love that part of it. Um, so, yes, Kate on Netflix. So Peter likes Mary Elizabeth Winston to get the shit kicked out of her. And also do some shit kicking. Okay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> that's right. Um, so that's Kate. Uh, all right. How do you support us? How do you support us? You listen to sweet music. <laughs> and you uh, go to all the socials. Um, you do bmoviesbeyond.com. You do Instagram. You do Facebook, Instagram. We're on Twitter now. Peter's been really active on Twitter lately, which is pretty oh, cool. Good job. Um, Evan, I don't know what you're doing on Twitter, but you should do it. You can uh, follow the ticker on the so. bottom. It's going this way. And just look at the ticker. We're on YouTube. You got to click subscribe and like and do this. And watch Titanic and buy some t-shirts like Peter and buy some hats. And like Evan. And um, also listen to this podcast. That's how you do it. That's the biggest listen thing. To- and my other favorite thing, the biggest part was uh, follow the ticker. That was what I really got from my- Yeah, just follow the ticker. Yeah, just follow the ticker. You're going to see all the good stuff on the bottom. It's going to tell you to remember to like, subscribe. And where and you see the ticker is on YouTube. So On YouTube. And sometimes maybe Instagram posts. I don't know. 